Hey, it's great to be with you again today. Um, I'm going to throw my granddaughter under the bus here in this in this vlog. And uh, right, I, I went away, and uh, her and her teenage brother were here, and he's you know he's a teenager, and uh, I said, listen. Uh, I'm going to be going for a little bit. I don't want you to go outside. Just stay in the house, all right? When I get home, you know, we can go back out and you can do whatever. But just stay in the house. I don't want anybody going out, running around, getting hurt, and something bad happening to you. And no adult here. Uh, just a teenage boy. Hmm, what could go wrong, right? I go away. I come back a little while later. And guess what? They're going outside. They run around playing, having a great time. She steps in a hole, twists her ankle, re-injures an ankle that has already been injured. And now her foot is up and there's ice on it. There's swelling and it's awesome, right? And I said to her, I said, didn't I just say don't, don't go outside while I'm gone? I'm only going to be gone for a little bit. And yes, yes, yes. I said, why didn't you listen? Because it looked like it was nice outside. It was... It was nice and it was, it, we wanted to have some fun. And aren't we that way in our lives? Haven't we all been there at some point? It looks fun, it looks nice, it looks enticing. And even though we know that we're should, we shouldn't do it, we're not allowed to do it, there's this, this thing that says no, right? And some of the things that say no to us are set up as guidelines as protection for us. And a lot of that comes from scripture, right? If we go to scripture, scripture has all kinds of warnings, you know, uh, red flags that come up, warning bells that go off like, hey man, don't do this because it's not going to be good for you in the long run. But it looks fun. It looks enticing. So we're, we want to jump at it. We want to do it. And God's like going, oh, man, I warned you. I warned you not to do this for your own good, for your own protection. I want to keep you safe. I love you. And that's what I said to her today. I love you. I didn't try to keep you from having fun today. I just wanted you to be safe while I was gone for that little time. And that's the way God is, right? He wants to keep us safe. He wants to love us and show us his love through protecting us and keeping us safe and warning us to stay away from the things that can harm us in the long run. But we are who we are, right? We are humans and we make mistakes and we sin and we do things wrong. But you know what? Here's the great thing about this is God is always willing to forgive. All we need to do is turn around and say, God, I am so sorry. I messed this up. And you know what he does? He goes like this, come on in, let's go. Let's start all over again. Tomorrow's a new day. May God continue to pour out his grace, mercy, and blessings on each and every one of us until we get to meet again. Amen. Amen.